What's up guys, Boys of Lifestyle here, back again for another Jets vlog, and yeah, we're in Melbourne today for the City Away game, just me, Navi, none of the other boys, because it's Melbourne, I just happen to be with my family, so we're going to head down to the game, I'm just here in the apartment a few hours before, watching Australia get bent over by the Indians, uh, hopefully the same doesn't happen to the Jets tonight, and yeah, I'm just waiting around, very excited for the game, shout out to Laurie McKinna for the uh, hooking up my family with the free tickets, very very kind of him, best CEO in the league, very excited to see where he takes our club, and yeah just, uh, it's a nice view from the apartment, uh, also shout out to uh, Caleb and his family for the apartment, and yeah I'm very very excited. We're going to be getting the tram to the game and hope I don't get uh, beat up by any city supporters getting a bit rowdy. I heard they're a bit crazy when they go to the games. They're one of them. They're notorious in Australia for being the most violent, you know, supporter base in the league, in any league in Australia. Scary stuff and hopefully I stay safe tonight. And you're going to be there with me, guys. Very excited. Just got off the tram, heading to the stadium, and yeah, I may as well just do the predictions now. So I think the Jets are going to go fantastically well. 3 1 win. Mum, what's your score prediction? score prediction, Newcastle's going to win. 2-1. Yeah. Wow, 2-1. There you go. Collingwood training ground. Let's go. Top four, Stanley. Long ball that'll draw Kalikovic off his line. He's missed it. Roy O'Donovan with the simplest of tap-ins. Newcastle get the early goal. Roy O'Donovan's scoring streak continues. And the visiting Jets got exactly what they wanted, albeit through an absolute blatant explosion from Eugene Galekovic. Brentner yeah. taking the near post, shouts for handball, and this time a penalty is given. Newcastle incredulous at the decision, and Vargas, if that is his second yellow card, he's off. Ronnie Vargas is given his marching orders. At last, on the runway and scoring. City draw level. Yeah. Wales, Bratton, and Bratton scores. Left the goalkeeper flat footed. Massive half there from the Jets. It's a freaking insane game. Oh. So we went up 1 0 early with Roy Donovan. I didn't really get to see it because like, like, the rest of my family was coming in and there was two people next to me that were sitting in like our seats because they were in the wrong row, like they were in the row in front of us. So I didn't even get to see it, but I think it was good ball movement down the left and a cross in that he just finished nicely. And yeah, so that was good. All looking on the up, and then the ref gives some fuck, some retarded handball from nowhere. It looked like it just deflected off someone and popped up into his arm. He never meant it. Well, this is obviously I might be wrong, but this is what I saw. Never meant it, and the refs pulled out a second yard for Vargas, and they put the McGree scores the penalty, body snake, and then Bratton goes and scores an absolute banger, like he did the first game against us, like six seconds later and we're down to one and ten men and it's no good and it's looking like it's going to be a tough ask to get anything from this game so even a draw I'd be happy with at this point I'm sitting on the other side of the Jets fans because the free tickets we got are like actually like good tickets they're like in heaps good seats so yeah Laurie's treating us but 
I'm not with the Jets fans, so that's why I haven't been saying anything after the goals, like immediately after, because I'm in the middle of the city fans and I don't want to uh, seem like a dickhead being like, oh, that's bullshit. So I haven't said much, like in the videos, but you know, hopefully you. Like, it's just, oh. So I don't expect anything. Hopefully the Jets can get a point, maybe sneak on, play. Shepard hurting in a late goal. Yeah, fingers crossed. Look good, he's good. Chalky. Large and... I bought that kid chocolate. Yeah. I never wish a Jets player to be injured, but I almost hope that Tyrone gets injured. So I know it can come on. No, it's not that noise. Look at him. Oh, Put him in the hip for I just watched Roy Donovan's goal back and it wasn't a cross at all. I, compl I just completely missed it, I guess, as you heard. So, yeah, definitely not a cross and a finish. The keeper just and defenders just messed it up completely. Bit of a gift. Jevski off the woodwork. Can they land the killer blow? McGree off the inside of the post. It does not get much closer than that. And the full time whistle goes as Melbourne City hold on. The game finished 2 1. Pretty good game. And I'm actually very happy that I came. From half-time onwards, we were the better team, I believe, with 10 men. Even with 10 men, we absolutely dominated them. More chances, more everything. We just looked like we were really up for it. And yeah, so I was pretty disappointed in the end that we couldn't get a draw. We probably deserved it. Had way more chances, you know, like so many free kicks and corners and hit the, George F's hit the post. They kind of did shit all other than the McGree. Uh, the two McGree chances in the second half that were right, but other than that, we smacked them. So yeah, a bit disappointed, but yeah, up the Jets, on to the next game. We'll have Vargas out for the City game because they're a red card, which is disappointing. But yeah, up the Jets. Okay, my brother Roshan wants to say a few words. Hang on. Okay, in my opinion, this ref was a junkie. He was stinging for his pipe, he was jittering all over the place and couldn't think straight. It's just a bit sad that the state of Australian soccer has got to this point. Newcastle were easily the better team. And I thought while I'm here I may as well just uh, give my opinion on the stadium. That's the tennis thing. The stadium's over that way somewhere. But it's actually a very good looking stadium in my opinion. It's kind of like hmm, the Kelsey Dale of stadiums because of its beautiful curvature on the outside and you know it's quite thick. I believe, but mm, up to interpretation. But yes, it was actually a really nice stadium. The seats were pretty good, decent seats. Didn't really buy any drinks or food, so I can't really comment on prices, but it was just a good stadium to watch at. Kind of annoying that we were in, on the side where the sun was like hitting your face the whole time, but it was still good to watch. And yeah, I'd rate the experience very highly. Amy Park's a nice place to watch the footy. So I wouldn't. I would love to come back anytime. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>